YouTube, what's up? I'm glad y'all loving the gameplay videos. Please hit the like button. Please sub to the YouTube channel. And this one's crazy. This is probably one of the best games I've played already. We're about a week into Madden, about three days into the salary cap leaderboards being live. And you know I love the leaderboard grind. I love playing against other top competitors. And I, I love being able to put it on YouTube for you guys and stream it. You can check out my games live and watch them. The Twitch link is in the description. Any offense and defense you like, you can also hit Madden Turf. That link is in the description to go ahead and get you hooked up with all the latest offense and defense that you see in these streams and you see in these YouTube videos. This is against Elite MLG. He's like in the top 50 and salary cap was in the top 10 in Mutt head to head. So he's got an idea of what he's doing in the first drive, Justin Houston. If you don't have a Justin Houston card, you're just not playing Mutt right. So underrated, you know, he's not Von Miller, not Khalil Mack or Clowney, but Justin Houston just makes plays. Here he goes, comes out with kind of a defense I haven't really seen too much of. I get him off sides here, so you know you get him off sides, just chuck it up one time, see if you can get a big play, but Moss then come through there. He getting through with this defense, and right here you see a D-tackle, kind of get an A-gap, shed through my line, felt like Madden 08 right there real quick. Get him to a third and 12. I threw this drag to try to get half of it, maybe go for it on fourth, but he dropped it, so I'll punt. I don't think, I really don't think anybody playing online right now is that great offensively to where I have to go for it in my own territory. I'm not going to donate points to anybody, especially since I got to stop already. So we go here, man, we get a hit stick. I mean, the tackling is just outrageous on this game right now, the way they're popping everybody. He goes underneath, and you see he gets down. He doesn't want to take another hit. I think that was Jalen Ramsey ready to line him up. Another drag right there, who Pat P wanted that pick six. I should have held Y and went for something crazy. But he made the tackle. Here goes again. I think I manned up Pat Pete that time and he got bumped by it. I'm telling you, it happens to me way too often. I'll man up my outside corner and the cloud flat to come down and bump into him. But for some reason, they don't bump into the receiver, only my DB. So I give up an easy touchdown. I mean, you've obviously watched all these videos. I hate giving up easy stuff to people. And that's a crazy play by Champ Bailey. Should have been a pick. He dropped it. That was a hard flat jumping up. So I did a little route common, route, route switch up. Instead of the zigzag, I kept the tight end on a flat to attack that hard flat. Here we go, a little zero blitz here. We're able to hit Randy Moss over the middle. Make some plays. Hold on to the ball, please. The strip from behind is another thing that's outrageous in this game. Here goes zero blitz again. I should have held a little bit longer. Give Moss an extra step, but, and you know, he couldn't come up with that play for me. Another step, that's a touchdown. Here goes again, blitzing me all over. We hold a pocket. Ah, oh, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz had throw under pressure rating. I dropped back a little bit too far right there, and Carson Wentz didn't make the throw for me. Here, this was good defense. I ran a play for man coverage, and it was cover three. Didn't really have anybody to throw to. Didn't want to take a sack. Secure my field goal. Like I said, get points on the board in the first half. You know, we can work with the points we have in the second half, but you want to make sure you get points on the board. And I'm cool with that three. Like I said, I feel like this guy has nothing for me offensively. I gave up one play. You know, uh, here we go, chucking it with people in his face. And, you know, the quarterback can't make that throw with people in his face. Like I said, I gave up one cheap play. And I feel like if I don't give up a cheap play, he's not going to consistently move the ball down the field with me. Like I said, he saw that cover three beater, and he tries it the next three plays, and for some reason my cloud flat just gets out of the way. I mean, that's a rookie bum right there, number 45, so I'm not that mad at it, but I don't know why he moved out of the way. The corner route was the only thing that's open. So we're getting another two-minute warning. He's trying to pound it. Good run right here by Christian McCaffrey. Uh, I call a timeout, try to secure some time for me on offense again. He'll throw underneath. Nice play. We'll see what he does here. I mean, he has a field goal secured already, second and five. What did I tell you guys? Justin Houston. Get him rushing your, the passer on your defense. You'll be fine. Here goes trying to scramble. Steve Young is probably Michael Vick, but there we go. Strip him. The same the same DB that gave up that play came up with a huge strip. Nice job by me. Making sure he doesn't get any points right there. Here goes dump, dump the ball off underneath the Vernon Davis. He holds on to the ball. He doesn't get stripped. So let's see if we can, we can get some points before the half, capitalize it. This was the good defense. I tried to put a wheel route to the running back, you know, for the adjustments he was making, but he boxed it. Now we're going to top again to Moss. Shh, boxed again by number 33. Derwin James on Moss. I feel like that should be a touchdown. Go for on his fourth down, able to hit the post route over the middle of Moss. Make a spin move, and guess what happens? The computer cracks me. I mean, like I said, the hitting is outrageous on this game. Almost to the point I want to play on conservative. Now I fumble again. 7-3, he gets the ball back. Almost gets sacked here. He has 37 seconds and three timeouts, so I don't want to give up any more points. 
pops a little run right here. Let's see what he does. What he decides to do is just literally milk all this clock. I mean, with three timeouts, you know, if you don't get the first down, you don't want to give up points, you can always punt the ball. I only have one timeout left, but he decides to milk the clock all the way around, play real passive rather than go ahead and get a first down and try to get a field goal. He's close to field goal range. All he does is milk the clock to do one thing, chuck it to Randy Moss. And that's when I learned my ball hawk wasn't on. Madden did not save my settings in the game. I don't know if you guys are dealing with the same problem, but I, I guess we all are. It doesn't say the settings. So ball hawk was not on. Patrick Peterson got mossed right there. You know I'm a big Patrick Peterson fan. Hate when he got mossed. So now I'm down 14-3 to three to start the half. A guy decided to sit on the ball, just chuck on the moss, and he came up with a play for him. Tough. Like I said, two streaks to moss. Look, once again, he gets that little A gap with his D tackle. It's crazy. I mean, nothing much you can do when the D tackle is right through your line. It was again, I rolled out. I actually, this is a, a great play because I rolled out, saw he guard my post, playmaker to slant. I could always do it away, but the playmaker slant got a good angle. Now you see this guy's bringing the house at me. You know, he's bringing all the goons. We got to make sure we make the right read. Has some quick reads in here, too. Bang, we're over here. We're over to hit Tyreek Hill, and he drops the ball. I don't know how he dropped the ball right there. I was going to run pretty much the same play. That's all. Good pass protection. Able to take off with Carson Wentz. Get inside the five. This is where we have LaShawn McCoy. I get hit sticked again. But we're at the one yard line. I feel good here. Able to quarterback sneak it in. All right, so we're right back. Don't want to go for two this early. I'm cool with my extra point. Plenty of Madden football left to be played. I'm going to get some more stops. I'm going to get some more scores. I already know that. Cover the kick very well. You will see. Le'Veon Bell actually on kick coverage. Throws underneath in the flat. Nice spin move, Evan Ingram. He's breaking tackles. Kind of want one of my fumbles back. I'll be all right. Come on, Justin Houston fighting for I mean, Justin Houston is just a stud. They, I mean, as soon as I say it, Justin Houston, three sacks, I'm telling you. That's just base elite Justin Houston. Here we go. I'm going, now I'm going to jump over to the post and my ball hawk's not on. So frustrating. This terrible kid just chucking the ball at me, but my ball hawk's off, so I can't make a play. Throws underneath, spins one person, gets down. Got to hold him to three here. Keep it a one possession game. This is a huge drive. Here goes with just two drags. Throws in the flat, gets swatted. Two drags, and I mean, I don't know what route combination he's got. Hit stick there by Jalen Ramsey. I want to run commit sometimes, but I can't give up a touchdown here. A touchdown, and I'm, I'm in a super hole, so I'm cool with getting up a field goal. Here he is running around, shedding tackles. Gets an incomplete pass. I mean, I, need, I just need one of my fumbles back, man. Please, that's how you feel right now, but Pat Pete. Moss got him in the first half, but Pat Pete makes his stand in the second half. I told you he's my favorite defensive player on the game. Here we go, dump it under to McCoy. McCoy, let's make a play, but no. Let's get hit stick fumbled again. Another hit stick fumble. Back. I think that was him that time. So let's stop. Once again, we're in the same position. Game's not over. Hold him to three, we'll be fine. Hold him to three, he runs a toss. Good pursuit right there. TJ Green cleaning up. Runs again, third and goal. Not a bad call. Run some clock. Take your three. Go up a full seven points. So I'm cool. After all this, I fumbled twice. I got mossed once. My ball hawk doesn't work. All the complaining and all that thing is not worth anything because you got to put your nose down and you got to go ahead and get another get a bucket. So here we go. Bang. That's DJ Shark. Look at this. Now there's just, he's going to fight for me, fight, trip over people and get hit sticked. I mean, they just want me to fumble again. But Shark making plays right there. Nice job. Hit the out route again to my man Shark. It's Shark Week. That's my guy. One of the most underrated players in the game. Once again, I'm going to stand in the pocket like a man. Throw this ball over here to Randy Moss. I'm just filleting right now. I'm feeling the rhythm. I'm feeling good. He's pretty much sitting in stock cover three. We go ahead and hit Tyreek Hill for a little curl right there. Get inside the 10. Hardest place to score. Get a ball to Sean McCoy. Case it down to the three. Now, let's, I'm going to try to use some clock here. So, if I score, he doesn't have too much time to get a field goal. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my boy Shady McCoy on aggressive. If you've seen some other videos, this is what I like to do inside the five. Help my running back fight a little bit more because I know it's going to be tough sledding down here. Much like it is in real life. So that's one reason I have a superstar running back right now for situations like this. Got a second and goal. And, and you know, I want to at least get a little bit closer so keep the running still an option. But what he does, which is smart, run commit. I didn't even really plan for that. I didn't expect it. And the run commit killed me. Got to me third and goal. Running is really not an option anymore. I go to one of the dots that I cooked up. I know what I want to do here. I want to try to hit a little low ball to this to this uh, outside speed out. Now, normally, I should be on the short side of the field, but the ball is right in the middle of the field. That's what kills me here. 
I'll go ahead and try to fit this in the Y right here, but the yellow zone, a little bit too far. It was really, no, they just broke on the ball so well right there. Tough spot to pass, and I turned the ball over. So now, back down seven without the ball. I got my timeout, so that's all I need. I'll burn my timeout. Stop the run, we get out of here. Nice play by him over here. Takes a little drag. Falls on the ground so he won't fumble. One play, I gotta get off the line. And one play for all the biscuits, you gonna, you gotta bring the dogs. If you're gonna run one play for everything, bring the dogs, give him no chance to throw. Jalen Ramsey does not get beat by the tight end. Boom, we get the ball back. He punts. Might wanna go there for it, go for it there, but he's gonna make me work. One timeout, 40 seconds left. Here we go, I hit this little baby curl and hit the moss. Wish I got a better animation to get at least 10 plus there. Kind of a bad play, but try to get a cheap one here. I playmaker, my man Shark. Shark dominated this game. Great throw by Carson Wentz. Shark got it, held on to the ball, 24 yard line. Just I just call it a play real quick. And you know, with these animations with the quarterback, I should be able to get five plays off right here. So I get to the line, I'm trying to audible, I'm trying to hot route. Oh, let me audible. Nah, this is what I want. It takes 10 minutes to audible to another play. Can't snap the ball. I just snap it here, and you know, you got Randy Moss. You gotta give him a shot, right? Eight seconds left, boom. Of course I catch it, but of course he his toe tapped out of bounds. So it doesn't count. We gotta do it all over again. Still from the eight yard line. Seven seconds left, gotta cook one up. Now obviously I went to a dot earlier out of bunch uh, pistol bunch tight end. So I'm gonna go to another dot. You gotta have a bunch of different dots within the same formation. So he'll probably be ready for me to try to throw that little speed out again. So I'm gonna go ahead to uh, curl flat right here. I got a little post over the middle, a tight end corner route too. So but what I wanna hit, I'm disappointed that Hill's in my high ball spot. So I'm gonna try to sneak this curl into Randy Moss. The uh, Hill was open and try to throw it high. I mean, what more do you have down here? Two seconds left. Moss can't come up. There's two players I want the Moss. Can't come up with something glitchy for me. One dot, that's all we need right here. We need one dot. So we're gonna cook up probably what I think is the best route combination in the game right now, and that's curl flat. Just a flat and a curl. Got a high ball to Moss, who's dropped two in a row for me. Going to put this high ball post in the middle of the field to Moss, put an in route to Tyreek Hill just in case I needed the last second. Moss is over the middle, can hit this. Who catches it? Shark week. That's who catches it. Shark week, two seconds on the clock, one play. Shark week, we died him. Going to overtime. Now people say, oh, go for two. That's all they say in the chat. Go for two, go for two, go for two. You only go for two when you're playing somebody you don't think you can beat. If you're playing somebody that you're better than, you want the game to last as long as possible. But if I'm playing Skimbo or I'm playing Kiv or I'm playing another goon that, you know, the coin toss is going to depend it, maybe then I'll go for two. But not when I'm playing Elite MLG. I'm, I'm, I'm going to extend the game. Let's play all night. That's how I feel. I'm here for it. Let's play all night. You know, this kid, his 17 points have been fluky. And I feel like I can move the ball fairly well. I can go down here. I win the toss. I can go down here and make some plays. Throw a high ball here to Moss. I'm getting better at high ball on that. Sometimes the yellow zones will alert me on that. But here we go. We're feeling really good. Obviously, I have all the momentum in the world underneath the Vernon Davis. Get his sticked out of bounds. All the momentum in the world right now is on my side. Good lurk right here by him. Good job. Sending pressure, lurking where I wanted to go. Boom, but here we go underneath. Who else? Shark Week. Get yourself a DJ Shark. I don't care if it's regular mutt or, or salary cat. Underneath the Vernon Davis, throw the flat route. It's seven on the flat route, and here we go. Bang, I got Moss, I'm gonna give him another chance. Oh my God, the cardinal sin of a man player. Overtime, second and four red zone pick. That's terrible. Here he goes with Steve Young, he scrambled. So now we gotta get another stop. We done got so many stops, so many scores when we needed everything. Bang, Pat P almost got to that. He threw it over my head. So we got him to a third and five. What's he gonna do? Underneath. Ah, uh, no fool. No ball hawk needed. Picked him off with my man, Troy Apke. Take it back in the field goal range. He's the fastest guy on the field right now. Boom, still gets his thing by the quarterback, but that would be the ball game. Since it's the second possession of overtime, I'll go ahead and kick this field goal. Ice the game. Hopefully he doesn't block it. And, then, I mean, that's pretty much how the game's going. It was such a battle. I had to fight through so much stuff, so many fumbles, so many bad plays. Ill-advised passing overtime by me. So ill-advised pass before the before what the end of regulation I do a pick overtime I do a pick inside the ten still able to keep fighting push through and go ahead and get this win that was a great game 
more videos like this to come. Like I said, you can watch all these games live. My Twitch TV link will be in the description along with the Madden Turf link in the description to make sure you get this offense and this defense. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nerd.